You know, as a kid, I was pretty well behaved. I didn't get in trouble, just did my thing and everybody else did theirs. I used to do a lot of hunting and trapping and stuff like that. I don't so much anymore. I'm up here in the Yukon during the hunting season. I do miss it. I don't spend enough time by myself trying to outsmart a deer. I'm too busy trying to outsmart a flake of gold. One time I was moose hunting with my dad and we trudge out to this swamp. And he's like, okay, you, you wait here and I'll go take a hike around this. And if there's any moose around, they'll go walk out into this swamp in front of you. So I sit down next to a tree and immediately fall asleep. I wake up to an owl hooting at me. I'm like, what the hell is an owl doing out here? And I'm like, oh, whatever, wake up, blah, 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 this owl's hooting. And I'm like, hey, that's not an owl, that's a moose. And there's a moose standing right in front of me out in the swamp. I was asleep the whole time. My dad wasn't too happy with that one. I need my beauty sleep. As a kid, I really was into mining and mining engineering. Gold mining really took control of my life. I geeked out about that quite a bit. I pretty well dedicate all my time to either getting gold out of the ground or trying to figure out a better way of getting gold out of the ground. I was pretty normal in high school. You know, I played basketball. I've always been pretty into numbers and math, that kind of stuff. Not really like math class, but actual applications for it. Banking and things like that. And now I like big yellow machines. I would say the big activity for my friends and I was to go shoot guns. I don't really shoot much anymore, but we used to just like go run through the woods shooting at stuff. Bottles or trees or the water or whatever. It was pretty weird and random. You know, that's Alaska. We liked guns. We liked shooting stuff. We'd go chop trees down, but instead of a saw, we'd do shotguns. Trying to nail down what your all-time favorite movie is is pretty difficult. It really depends on what mood I'm in. I think that everybody should watch the movie Paint Your Wagon. Very good show with Lee Marvin, Clint Eastwood. Definitely a different side of Clint Eastwood than most have seen. Lee Marvin teaches you all the life lessons you need to know. Drinking, booze, Lee Marvin sing. So does Clint Eastwood. Paint Your Wagon is also a very good gold mining, treasure hunting movie. Yeah, it's a good one. If I had to be in a movie and somebody had to play me, probably would have to be Adam Driver, I guess. We both have big noses and big ears and look like, you know, something similar, I suppose. We'll do like a Star Wars gold mining, asteroid mining movie. There you go. Adam Driver mining asteroids. There's the movie about me. I'd have a gold finding lightsaber. I'm, you know, a firm believer that the Empire has done nothing wrong, so I'm all for law and order, just like America. I think we just made a very good premise for a movie. I own this idea, Discovery Channel. Don't even think about it. If I weren't gold mining, I'd love to spend a couple years just in a cabin out in the bush doing nothing. Go live off the land and enjoy that. I like hunting. I like fishing. I like some video games. Play balls on my phone. That's a good one. Shoot a bunch of balls at a bunch of blocks. Pretty stupid. I usually leave it going in my pocket, but it shoots its own game when I'm... It's, it is going now but it shoots its own game if I leave it going and then it makes me lose. If I had to have a perfect day off, I'd probably like go back to Haines and spend a day out in the woods kind of whack a moose with my dad. It's about a perfect day off for me right now. About 10 months a year, I'm either gold mining, online looking at gold mining equipment, sleeping, eating, that's about it. Like I don't really do much other than work. I'm a schnobble. I do have a lot of good underwear. I'm wearing a pair right now. It's got dinosaurs on them.